travel with an elite defense, and Miami certainly has that. Miami won the toss and decided to defer. So Reed takes an E, and Virginia will have it at the 25-yard line. Perkins gets away from the linebacker and across the 40 for a first down. Those three linebackers for Miami are so good. It was Evan Butts, the tight end, on the gain of nine. That's Cowley in motion, and they will run straight ahead and pick up the first down inside the 45. First down, Virginia, on this opening drive, which has been solid so far. On the roll, Perkins throws across his body, and there is the takeaway. Trajan Bandy with the interception for Miami. And then Perkins tried to throw it back across his body and just airmailed this, and this is exactly what you cannot do. A very difficult throw, high risk there. Just run the ball out of bounds or throw the ball away and lift. Third down, Miami. Homer, it's Stonewall. Zane Zandier, the inside linebacker, got there, it's fourth down, what do you do? Fourth down Miami on its opening drive of the game. Nikosi Perry to run, up the middle, and he's turned around, he's very close, looks like he might be just short. Gotta check the spot here. Nikosi Perry spun around, and does Virginia have a turnover on downs? Yeah, third and forever for Virginia here. Perkins gets outside and creates some yardage. He slid, but a little bit late, and you wouldn't imagine they throw the flag here. 27-yard gain and the holding penalty against Mahoney. Third and long. Perry nearly crossed the line. Now he does, has to run, and he's yanked out of bounds by Zane Zandier. It's fourth down. Virginia's defense playing well. No, he can throw and run. He's tried to catch as well earlier this season. Here, he throws it out wide to Joe Reed. In space, Reed across the 45. First down, Virginia. Kind of the same concept in terms of the decision tree as Sharp checks in as the tailback, and Perkins off a spin goes down. He's sacked as we check in with Olivia. In terms of remove it from the football, and I think that's what Perkins is dealing with currently. Perkins intercepted, he wanted Reed, and he's picked off for the second time in the game, Sheldrick Redwine. Oh, trust me, the chain's out there somewhere, and Redwine is just gonna benefit from Bryce Perkins just not seeing things clearly currently. There was a crossing route deep down the middle. Pressure coming from the corner. Homer picks it up, may have held. This ball down the middle is intercepted. Joey Blount, the safety. Just short of midfield. It had been pretty buttoned up, but this is throwing the ball deep middle with the safety, single high, and in this case, it's Joey Blount. Joey Blount had nothing to do but to retreat in center field and, and catch the football. There was pressure off the right side. You have a, a go route. Who worked off of short fields quite a bit in the second half last week. Now Perkins on the roll, has the completion across the 45. Hasis Dubois for a first down. Freshman Kelly in motion. Perkins wants shot, but it's through his hands. Boy, there are hurricanes everywhere, and that might be a late personal foul coming. His only two incompletions were picks. Here he runs. Perkins gives himself up, and the reason he's not designed running as much, as Bronco Mendenhall told us, is they don't want Perkins to get hurt. Perkins... Sees trouble coming, and down he goes. Miami's Shaq Quarterman got in there. Pat Bethel at the defensive tackle positions 
Your escape hatch is not down. Bronco mimicking holds, hoping the temperature's just right. It is. Delaney, the kickoff specialist, sinks the field goal. 3-0 Virginia, the opening lead. Full-time quarterback, as you'll see. Nikosi Perry, first road start. He's got a completion, and that goes for a first down to Lawrence Cager. Gray on Gray in the backfield with him. And it is Gray diving to midfield, first down. Blitz shown from the corner. It does come. Dallas picks it up. Intercepted. Juan Thornhill. And Thornhill keeps on going. Inside the 10. Pressure showing off the top of the screen, the right of the quarterback. And I think Perry saw it. That's where his head was looking. Instinctively, you kind of speed things up. I think Perry was trying to move a defender out in the flat that didn't move, and Juan Thornhill was having none of it, and it hits him right in the chest, and then Thornhill turns into a really good athlete. The official. And makes the most out of it. Yeah, look at that official. You talk about being in harm's way. Oh, my Lord, in that head. Straight up the middle. Ellis, touchdown. It just hunt held up extremely well. Miami is second in the country, points off a turnover. They are so good for Bryce Perkins. Short fields have paid off. Lingard. Ah, the return of flag comes in. Rozier with Thornhill coming. And he threw the wrong pattern, or Thomas ran the wrong pattern. Third down, Olivia. Malik Rozier in at quarterback for this drive. Snowden's coming. Rozier incomplete. Bryce Hall had the coverage, fourth down. Bryce Perkins, a quarterback, who's come from Community College to star here at Virginia, goes upstairs, Bandy against Dubois, who comes away. Trajan Bandy picks it off. It's the intended receiver out of the RPO, the run pass option, zone inside and then throw it outside, and it was slightly underthrown to a really big d receiver in Dubois, 6'3", you gotta put that ball down the field another two yards, and this is it isn't a question, but second down, Rozier at quarterback. He loads up a ball down the sideline and has a completion inside the 25. Lawrence Cager, the big target. Action pass, and Jeff Thomas was out there along with Cager, and Thomas went to the post and took coverage with him, and the flat defender. Cager back in on third down. Rozier, pressure, Snowden got there, and finally goes down. They'll give him the 29. Mandy Alonso, the sophomore out of Miami. Whether the quarterback and the pass protection can diagnose it. This time it's to the left of Rozier. Overloaded at the very least, you get one on one. As Bubba backs up, who's four for six in his freshman season, tries to get Miami on the board, and Baxa does. A big moment to finally Pull the top off the jar. You know when you hit a drive right down Main Street when you're golfing, that's what Baxa just did. Jimmy Johnson type days. Nearly half a dozen national championships for the Hurricanes. Joe Reed on the return. Reed spins through a tackle. And he's to the 33. On a third down for his offense. Perkins, a statue back there. Pressure comes down, heats him up. Perkins to the sideline and incomplete. For Miami, that's the only loss for the Hurricanes. Rozier gives it to Homer. Travis Homer down the sideline. 
Homer dumped out of bounds. Finally inside the 20. It took Bryce Hall. And it's really the first time that Miami has opened things up. This is just a simple outside zone play, and Homer gashes Virginia, but the hustle play by Bryce Hall. Third down, Miami. Rozier to throw. Rozier to the end zone. This is out of bounds, incomplete. This from 28 for Paxson. Bubba Baxa, the freshman, sinks another. As a coach, is calling plays offensively. Perkins finds his way out of bounds. Uncle Mendenhall knows exactly what's going on in that defensive room. He's coached or been an assistant, had an assistantship with each one of those guys as Jordan Ellis is across the 45 to the 49, a first down. Zach McLeod finally tore him down, but Ellis is having a nice night. You don't want to put the ball in harm's way, however. Jordan Ellis on the run now as he finds his way to the 42. With under 20 seconds to go, you're caught in the middle. Kicking game that's shaky at best for Virginia may come into view. It's a run for Ellis, and he's inside the 35. So now, Jordan Ellis, the ball carrier with nine player. seconds to go. Being blocked and run back for a big play with Miami, and they're good at doing this. Griffin will hold. Delaney the boot. Delaney got it! Thirteen six, our score at the half. Unbeaten in the ACC, Miami trailing. They'll get the ball first. Over the top, in and out, and it just wasn't there. Travis Homer, who's been the saving grace for this run game since taking over for Mark Walton. Wound down again. Roser, free runner coming, and that was by design. Screen pass from Rozier, and they do get some of the yardage back. DJ Dallas, and another flag is in where Rozier delivered the ball, looks like. The playmakers out in space. Into the pile with Treyon Gray, and he looks like he's got the first down. They're going to spot him right around the 33. At quarterback that day. Up the middle again, looking for a yard. And it depends on the spot. Fourth and inches. Gray goes high and gets knocked back. The question is, where is his progress? First blush, it looks like not far enough. Absolutely dried up after we left town. That was against Connecticut early last season. Perkins steps up right into the rush, and down he goes. Redwine came in first and forced the movement of the pocket for the Miami sack off the right side of the quarterback and this ball was supposed to go out in the flat to Chris Sharp early opposed to those great Miami teams of the past. Rozier down the center of the field for a first down. Now Scaife is making a few mental mistakes. Smells like a bonfire here on third down. Rozier launches down the sideline. Hall got position on Cope. What coverage by Bryce Hall. Watch the defensive line in the line of scrimmage to the right. This is a run for Perkins. He finds his way around that edge, and he creates some room for his offense. In the box on the line of scrimmage, you have to get your best playmaker to the edge outside of that traffic. Bryce Perkins to get outside. It's a gain of 15 for Perkins. Pressure started to come, and he bails out. Once again, Perkins using the legs. Pocket held up for long enough as Pinkney doused him. Eventually, he had a couple moments there, Kel. Penetration and reestablishing the line of scrimmage backwards do they do? They got there that time. Does the second effort create the first down, though? It looks like yes. Four-man front for Miami. This is a run and a big gash. Jordan Ellis, first down, Virginia. The front of the brochure for Miami typically is not guys with hands on hips, and that's what we just saw during your report. The C with a loss here at Virginia tonight. Cavaliers on a four-minute-plus drive. 
And oh my goodness, what a reaching grab by Dubois at the 25. Ball, and this ball was led away from coverage underneath, but right into the safety that was barreling down. And Upset Saturday in the Big Ten for Penn State. See if Michigan can that. Perkins off the pump fake. Bryce Perkins inside to the 15. For Perkins. Late decision. He keeps the ball and has a first down. Virginia to the 10. Second down for Perkins. Pressure coming. And down he goes. Shaq Quarterman back at the 15-yard line. Miami wasn't bluffing. In the end, Quarterman comes unblocked. And there just weren't enough. Third quarter on the sideline. Does it for the loss of seven there. Perkins keeps his feet. Perkins again keeps his feet. End zone incomplete. This one from 32 for Delaney. It's good. Just got by Syracuse to stay unbeaten. Homer off the check down. Little dodge inside. Travis Homer keeps his feet to midfield. Nifty run for a Homer. Injured Virginia player behind the play. And that's one thing that Miami didn't do well throughout this game so far is perimeter run. Rozier, the screen for Homer. Travis Homer again using the edge of the field. After a gain of 24 last time, he finds his way down to the 30. First down Miami. Bryce Hall was coming off of the edge. If I want to call one play into the blitz corner, it's a screen. Thomas on the far side only has one catch in this game. Rozier. Intercepted! A second one for Juan Thornhill. And the former basketball star barrel rolls across the 40-yard line. Juan Thornhill, who took over for Quinn Blanding to run this defense, trying to put it away. He hands it off. Jordan Ellis scrambling near midfield. And it's fourth down. An electric Scott Stadium, the worst starting field position tonight for Miami. And they get it away with a completion up the sideline to Trey on Gray across the 15. They came with a couple linebackers, and Rozier got it away for Brevin Jordan, the tight end, who's typically the X Factor of interceptions, and he was pulled after a few series. Rozier pressured and sacked. Chris Peace got there. Virginia hasn't been real stout up front. Third and long. Rozier the senior trying to keep it alive. Down the middle, what a ball. Cager had ran away from his coverage. But there was a lot of traffic in the middle. Try to get that ball in there. But also Cager, the receiver. Rozier. Walls caving in. Rozier breaks a tackle. He's inside the 35. And the veteran has another Miami first down gain of 17. Gets Cook back tonight in a big spot. Pocket holds up. Rozier to the outside has the tight end. Jordan cutting inside. First down and more with a cartwheel to boot. Rozier felt the pressure. Finds his way outside and scores. Touchdown, Malik Rozier. But typically when he runs, it's about good decision making. But we talked about Brevin Jordan. Keep an eye on nine at the top and watch his block. Contribute however you can at this point in time if you're Miami. Bubba Baxa just got it away. Sharp in motion. Perkins steps back. We see the athleticism, but he is stopped. So Miami with that one timeout remaining as, let's see, flag comes in after the play. 
on third down. Ellis tried to rip it outside, and he goes down. Griffin will hold. Delaney, the newly minted kicker for UVA, has made himself a star. A flag is out as well. Uh, roughing the kicker, number two. Defense. The point is good. Michael Mendenhall's been waiting for a long time to see this in a game like this. One knee, and Bryce Perkins, who last year was playing in front of 500 in Yuma, has thousands more friends, and they're going to join him on the field in Charlottesville.